We've been engaging uh, with Toyota for well over a year now on the creation of, you know, Cam M2M, Makeup to Mud, on trying to create, you know, opportunities. You just have to look at Supercross's demographic to understand why. Over 37% of the Supercross consumers are female. So it's very important to create opportunities, engagement, you know, on the female side for not only you know, the building the sport and the brand itself, you know, in Supercross, but to engage more families. With this a year in the making, we had a clean piece of paper. We had to figure out what, what, what do we want to get out of Camp M2M. And one of those criteria is not making it intimidating. There is a lot that goes into, you know, putting these events on, but really, you know, you got families at all different levels coming in here. Focus on the beginner rider, but create training camps within the environment to get people engaged. Training sessions with top female riders and top pro supercross riders like Weston Pike. And I think that was what was important here is that there is no pressure at the Camp M2M to, to be forced into anything. It's just a gradual progression and a great time. Just seeing everybody in the positive vibes, just getting all skill levels out here on the track is really what this whole thing was about. And having an environment like that gets a possibility for people to talk to pro rider. It's, it's a great way to get people into the sport. I've just been having a great time. Yesterday I told my dad, this has been the greatest week of my life. I've learned so much. So this is such a neat event for them to be able to bring all of these new riders and beginner riders to give them this confidence that they would never have gotten without this. And I think that's so important for our sport, like the movement that this is offering for the industry is incredible. Like it's encouraging people to go out and ride, like even if you don't race, just getting on a dirt bike and having fun. What's most important is really getting families on motorcycles. With opportunities like this, it's incredible to see the amount of new riders and beginner riders. That's what really startled us in seeing these numbers is that most of the people coming here want to be involved in this sport. They want to learn how to take the next steps in getting engaged and being part of the motorcycle community and Supercross. So this has been a wonderful program. We see this thing building year over year over the next couple years and maybe multiple stops in a year even. It was awesome, you know, just to kind of like take it back to the basics and, and help people out and uh, kind of return the favor and to kind of get them together and, and have something like this where we can teach them the basics to get them comfortable so that they can go home, buy a motorcycle and ride and then have fun and enjoy it. We gotta build the sport. The kids, they're the future of the sport. We absolutely need to nurture that as much as we can. That's where we're gonna flourish. If we want this sport to go anywhere, we gotta put our heart and soul into those little kids. My confidence has gone out of the roof. Literally right now, I just wanna ride my dirt bike. It is about, you know, women trying to get involved and encourage each other, but it's really just encourage encouraging everybody. You know, it's kind of like see myself when I was very little, you know, start riding for the first time, so kind of like relieving all of that. Mom, Dad, look, I, I rode a bike without training wheels. This is so amazing. And they just wanted to keep coming back and riding more and more and more. It was just such an incredible feeling to be a part of. process to have something come off like this. I would equate it to planning a Supercross event. We take about a year or so to plan for for just a three-day weekend event. We really run the gamut to get this event pulled together to be the success it is. It's great to see so many people appreciate all of your hard work. Being able to to be on the planning side of it and give that female perspective of what it would be like to be a first-time rider has been really awesome.
Within the Supercross broadcast on television with our NBC program, you've noticed the Makeup to Mud segments. The female demographic of that 37% continues to grow year after year. So creating content and engaging stuff within the program for the live event as well as the Supercross broadcast was super important to us in developing you know, the, the continuation of that female segment. I think that it could be a really cool movement and get lots more women involved in the sport, get them going, get them set, and really have like a good foot so they can just get out there. And for anybody in any riding level, it's really beneficial. This event could take motocross in so many different places. There's going to be so many new people now that it's just going to go out of the roof. I think it's incredibly important for the sport of motocross to have events like this because it brings uh, new people to uh, the racetrack and therefore the possibility to ride and uh, grow the industry as a whole. I would love to come back. We've already discussed bringing an RV so that we can bring all of our bikes. My whole family wants to come because my whole family rides. I, we would come in a heartbeat. I think we see this thing growing into multiple stops in a season, I really do. You know, we always continue to try to raise the bar. This thing was well over a year in the making, so the whole team has been tirelessly working on trying to create opportunity and create advancement in this area, especially getting people on motorcycles, you know, which is really important. So really it was just a chance to kind of get new people engaged with the sport, getting them on motorcycles with safety instructors in a safe environment, and then being able to take that to the next step of how do I get involved? Where do I get involved? It was incredible to see the types of families, mothers working with daughters, dads working with kids and their sons, and it just was a great environment that honestly moving forward, creating more sessions and more camps like this is probably something you'll probably see moving forward. There's a plan here, and we're putting together and stringing together and putting butts uh, on motorcycles and trying to get people engaged in the sport.